and hello everybody it is I Liney Bliss and I am back with another reaction video that was specifically requested by one of my patrons he is known as Z Blake Grayson I'll be sure to link y'all his YouTube channel hopefully if I can find it anyways he suggested a new video for me to watch it's called CGI animated short film one small step by Takio Studios well, here's hoping I don't get, you know, flagged or anything for copyright problems. Because, again, it's a reaction video, but it's clearly from Japan. So, at least I hope it's from Japan. <laughs> I don't want to be that person who mixes up J Japanese or Chinese or Korean. You know what I mean? Anyways, I'm holding up and we're just going to get started. It's going to blow that up. And three, two, one. Nice sound effects. Ten, nine, ignition sequence start. Six, one five, small step. Four, three, two, one. Lift off. We have a lift off. Thirty-two minutes past the hour. Aww. <laughs> dad and her daughter <laughs> oh! oh that's precious oh and he's a he's a he's a shoemaker okay that's cute oh. <laughs> that is so heartwarming I'm actually getting a little teary eyed <laughs> The box ship! I love box ships. I used to play in those two. Who has it? <gasps> oh, the wonders of imagination! <laughs> okay, that's funny. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. They're on the moon! I love it! No crying. There will be no crying. Oh, sweet little girl. Okay, we we um, push forward to high school. I think maybe college. Nope, definitely high school. Oh. No, looks like it's college, but hard to tell, I admit. Oh, oh no! Aww. So, oh no! Aww. Don't give up, girl! Starting to see a problem. Oh no. I love that there's no actual anything being said. And that it's all expressions and sounds. Oh, oh no. She didn't get in, did she? No. Oh, you know how hard it is to get into NASA these days? They don't just pick random people. <gasps> Where is he? Uh, that's, there's something wrong. Why is his cane there? Where is he? Hello? 
Where is he? What's wrong? Okay, panic mode. I'm in panic mode. No. <gasps> Dang it, I'm able to cry. Oh, no. It's not fair. Such a wimp. Uh, this is hitting a lot of heartstrings. I'll explain later, but. <laughs> yeah. For you. <sighs> she made it. Yeah. I love these kind of happy ending stories. amazing animators, storyboarders, effects people, sound effects, musicians, <laughs> and voice actors. <sighs> okay. Clean myself up. So, why is this making me so emotional? Other than, I guess, obvious. I know it's not- like, not everybody gets all teary-eyed about these kind of things, but... Well, again, my- my father is no longer with us. I- uh, we lost him in 2010. I was 24 when it happened. Um... <laughs> Uh, I'll have to share a story. So, my dad didn't really you know, know how to emotionally support as much as I would like, I guess. And he never really um, cared, or at least I thought he did it. He didn't really care about my artwork, but he did, he did support my choice to become a 2D animator and go to college. Um, but he didn't sound, or he never really verbally told me that he cared about the choices I made when it came to my education, but he did support it. Um, when he did pass away and I went over to his home with my family the day after we got word, 
Uh, I went into his room, kind of just taking it all in. Um, and I look down next to the doorway and I see that one of my art pieces that I made for him back in the day that I remember him telling me that he didn't really care for it. I kind of swore he got rid of it or something. I looked down in the doorway to find that not only did he not get rid of it, but apparently he had custom framed it in a beautiful silver frame. Um, I actually have it right over there. I'm looking at it right now. Uh, it was a... It was a xenomorph <laughs> headpiece I made out of charcoal, and he had it put in a custom frame. You know, I'll, I'll have to, you know, I'm gonna go grab it. Yeah, it's a very large piece, as you can see. Um, I originally thought he got rid of it, but no, he ended up custom framing it in silver. He was apparently going to be in the process of picking a place to hang it in the living room when he when we lost him. So, really, what hits hard other than the fact that this character lost her father, but he was always supportive of her in the smallest of ways. Actions speak louder than words. And that's exactly what my dad did. He may not have verbally said it, but... <laughs> Actions clearly speak louder than words. <laughs> so, I'm sorry if I make people cry or I make pe people emotional. Sorry if I get emotional. It is a great short. Well done to the people at Takio, Takio Studios. I hope I said it right. Thanks, Z Blade Grayson, for recommending this piece. I thoroughly enjoyed it, <laughs> despite the tears. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was a well-told story without even using words. Thank you so much. <laughs> Until then, guys, I'm going to clean up and find a way to make myself uh, cheer myself up and stop crying and continue forward. Keep an eye out for those rainbows. They will make you smile. And we are back with more shout outs for my Patreons who have supported me back in June 2019. A big, big shout out goes out to Science Steel Rail, Juke Ditton, Z Blake Grayson, Thundernote, Coldrith, Game Act 3, Color Scales, Rector Accor, Zion Craze, Arctic Wing, Cliff, Kimberly Cook, Jigito Valentine, Rasputin Lennon, Bryce Ahrens, Sather, Thomas Fan 2751, Joseph Hudson Plum 5, Ripple Effective LP, Joshua A. Starrett, Star Does Guard NA, The Watchful Pony, Blaze Armor, Jeffrey Ritter, Twilight Sparkle Fan, Scratchy, Luigi Man 87, Walker Ironheart, Peter Scholl, Brandon McFadden, and Josh Scorcher. Again, guys, thank you so much for all your support. For those of you that are new and old <laughs> who've been sticking with me for this long, I really, really do appreciate you guys. Thanks again, and keep an eye out for those rainbows. They will make you smile.